After you've submitted your resume to several job postings, you'll hopefully get an opportunity for an interview. The interview process usually starts with a short pre-screening phone call. It typically involves having a 15-minute conversation with a hiring manager or recruiter who will ask you some questions to make sure that you are who your resume says you are and that you meet the minimum requirements for the job. Following the pre-screening, you could be invited to an in-person interview, either on-site or online. This could be a panel interview with a few members of the team that you would be working with, or a one-on-one -on -one interview. Let's discuss some strategies that can help prepare you for an interview. Review the job description and your resume ahead of time. Practice speaking about the experiences and skills that the employer is looking for. Consider practicing this with a friend by participating in a mock interview. Your friend will act as the interviewer and you will answer their questions as if you're meeting with the employer. It can also be helpful to dress professionally and feel comfortable in the clothes you choose to wear for the interview. Before the interview begins, take a few deep breaths and remind yourself of all the preparation you've done. If the interview is online via video conference, Prepare a location in your home that is quiet, tidy, and professional. Also, be sure to test your video and audio settings, and if necessary, download the video conference application specified by the interviewer. This will help ensure that you correct any technical issues before the interview. Interviews usually include two parts, a background interview and a technical interview. The background interview will likely include questions about your education, work experience, skills, and abilities. You might even be asked some personal questions unrelated to the job posting. The interviewer is trying to get to know you to determine if you'll be a good match for the team and company culture. At the same time, you want to ask questions to help you decide if the team and company culture are a good match for you. The other portion of the interview is the technical interview. This is when the interviewer will ask you specific questions about technical skills related to the role. You might be asked how you would respond to a specific situation or to explain a technical concept that's listed on your resume. Do your best to answer these types of questions confidently and concisely based on your current knowledge. It's okay to say that you don't know the answer to a question or that you need a moment to respond so you can think about your answer. Employers respect honesty. Just follow up with an explanation of how you would figure out the answer, either by researching it or collaborating with the team. Even after you've completed this certificate program, you'll still have access to all of the content. So before the interview, go back and review your notes, the glossary, and any concepts that you might need to refresh your memory on. This can help you feel prepared for the questions you'll be asked. Remember, you can prepare for the interview by participating in a mock interview, reviewing the job description, and taking a few deep breaths before the interview begins. Before the interview, it's important to do some research about the organization you're interviewing with. Interviewers want to know that you're a good match for their team and that you value the things that are important to the company. It's just as important for you to decide if the company matches your values. So make sure you know the organization's mission and vision. Understand their core values and company culture. This information is usually easy to find, either in the job description or on the About page of the organization's website. Think about why these values and the company culture are also important to you. Then, practice how you will communicate this to potential employers. Remember that you will not be the only applicant for the position. Consider what sets you apart from other candidates and be prepared to emphasize those qualities during the interview. What about your skills, experience, or work ethic make you the best match for this position? How do your goals align to the goals of the organization? You want the employer to remember you after they've interviewed several candidates. So highlight things that make you the best candidate for the role. You also want to think about the employer's perspective. The organization has needs that must be met by filling the position. They may have productivity or compliance goals. 
or the team might be growing because the company is expanding. Take some time to think about what the interviewer is seeking in a candidate. Then prepare yourself to state directly how you can meet the employer's needs. The interviewer may have reservations about hiring you because of your lack of experience as a security analyst. If this comes up in the interview, be prepared to address any possible concerns by speaking about your strong work ethic. This could include an ability to learn quickly based on feedback or to collaborate and communicate with others. Also, you could discuss having a security mindset or problem-solving skills that you've developed from personal life, work, or educational experiences. Learning about the organization's culture and mission and preparing to demonstrate how you can add value to the team are essential. It's also a good idea to write down questions that you can ask the interviewer about the organization's past accomplishments and future goals. This shows potential employers that you've done your research and care about the organization's success. Rapport is a friendly relationship in which the people involved understand each other's ideas and communicate well with each other. Building rapport begins with the very first interaction you have with the company's staff by phone, email, or video conference. It's important to use a professional tone in the email you write expressing your interest in the job, but it's also important to be polite and friendly. Expressing appreciation for being considered and having the potential opportunity to interview is one way to build rapport. When and if you have an initial phone screen, you can use a friendly conversational tone of voice. To do this, try smiling while you talk. And while it's true that nobody can see you smile on a phone call, smiling while you talk can make you sound friendlier. During the phone screening and in-person interview, you can ease interview nervousness by engaging actively in a way that feels natural to you. That can mean simply saying, hello, nice to meet you. You can even start a short, friendly conversation by asking the interviewer how their day is going. Or if the weekend just passed, you might ask the interviewer, how was your weekend? Make eye contact when you ask these questions during an in-person interview. Or be sure to look directly into the camera during a video interview. This will show the interviewer that you're engaged in the conversation. Oftentimes during the second half of an interview, the interviewer will ask if you have any questions for them. As we discussed earlier, it's important to have some questions prepared to ask at this point. Here are some suggestions. You could ask, what is the biggest challenge I might face coming into this role and how would I be expected to meet that challenge? Or you might ask, what would you say is the best part about working for this company? Or what is a typical day like for an analyst? Another great question is, what is the potential for growth in this role? Asking questions shows that you're engaged in the conversation and are interested in the company and the position. It also shows the employer that you are confident and that you wanna make sure that their company is a good match for you before you make a commitment. It's nice to send a follow-up email a day or two after your in-person interview. This is just a brief email thanking the interviewer for the opportunity to meet with them and learn more about the organization. It's also a good idea to mention something specific from your interview in this email. It shows that you are actively engaged in the conversation. Remember, the employer is probably interviewing other candidates, so sending a follow-up email will help set you apart and remind the interviewer of your discussion. Building rapport with the interviewer and other employees is an important skill when interviewing for your first security position. Writing friendly but professional emails before and after the interview and engaging in friendly conversation during the interview can help set you apart as a great candidate for the job. Let's discuss some useful interview strategies to consider when speaking to an employer. Your interviewer is going to ask several questions when you meet. Carefully consider each question before responding. Let's discuss the STAR method, which can help you prepare for interviews. The STAR method is a technique used to answer behavioral and situational interview questions. Using this method is a great way to help you understand each interview question and provide a thoughtful and thorough response. STAR stands for situation, 
task, action, result. The STAR method is typically used to answer open-ended questions, such as, tell me about a time when you encountered a challenge on the job. Let's go through an example of how this question could be answered using the STAR method. The situation. Two people needed to stay home from work due to illness, and I was the only person available to assist customers. The task. I needed to answer phone calls from customers while assisting shoppers in the store. The action. I came up with a strategy that allowed me to assist customers as they entered the store, while also ensuring that customers who called were helped or politely placed on hold until I was able to address their needs. The result. I managed the in-store operations for the day without many mistakes, and my manager complimented me during the next team meeting. Hopefully this example highlights the benefits of answering open-ended interview questions using the STAR method. But the STAR method isn't the only strategy you can use during an interview. You can also answer questions with confidence. One way to demonstrate confidence is by admitting when you don't know something. For example, if an interviewer asks you to discuss a skill that you don't have, it's okay to admit you haven't learned it yet. However, the trick is to confidently mention that while you don't have that particular skill, you're a quick learner and eager to develop that skill. Treat it as an opportunity to emphasize your ability to adapt and learn on the job, which shows confidence. You know what else shows confidence? Taking the time to fully understand a problem or question to provide the best solution or answer possible. When interviewing, don't be afraid to ask the interviewer for a moment to think about your answer. It shows that you're willing to take the time needed to understand the question and provide a response that is meaningful and relevant. In past job interviews, your potential employer may have asked, do you have any questions for me? This type of question can be an opportunity for you to show the interviewer that you're prepared and ready to have a meaningful conversation with them. A big part of interview preparation is researching the company before the interview because it will allow you to ask questions that demonstrate you took the time to learn about the organization and its needs. For example, if you discover that the company suffered a major security breach two years ago, don't be afraid to ask about it. One question you could ask is, what do you think is the main reason the company suffered a breach two years ago? And follow that question up with, how could my role on the security team help prevent a breach like that in the future? These kinds of questions show that you are passionate about your career and that you want to help the company strengthen its security posture. There are also some general questions you can ask the interviewer to determine if the job and the organization itself are a good match for you. Here are some examples. What's the biggest challenge for a new person in this role? In what ways can I contribute to the success of the team and the organization? What qualities or traits are most important for working well with the team and other stakeholders? Questions like these can help you develop rapport with the interviewer and show that you're interested in learning more about the role and the organizational culture. Interviewing for jobs can be a really exciting process when you're prepared. And asking questions is an essential part of the interview process. Don't be afraid to ask potential employers tough questions. This will help them understand you as a thoughtful, curious person who can add value to the team.